Gray, have you been watching Reacher? I heard it's good, but yeah, I've seen the comment of the protagonist, sadly. He should mm-hmm. have just kept his mouth shut. Anyway, yeah, keep go, keep going. Let's go. All right, this comes with some bounding in the comics. And it says right over here, Reacher star Alan Richman baffled at religious support for Donald Trump. Quote, he's a rapist and a con man. And yet the entire Christian church seems to treat him like he's their poster child. Uh, he's a rapist and a con man. That's a pretty damning words to say to the next that, president yeah, that, of the United States. That, yeah, that's a strong accusation. Like, you, yeah, if you you're gonna say something that, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Just, just, just because you have, um, you have an ugly person that was basically trying to sue Trump and shit like that, and basically there's no actual proof of it. It's just, we'll see. Man, uh, I this show has been doing really, really well. This show is going to bomb now. I, I, I can't wait to see the numbers if that actually happening. It's good. Yep. I believe Ye- Yellow Flash and GNG are kind of on tune with this. So, yeah, I, I'd love to hear the news that it'll drop in viewership. <laughs> yep. There we go. Mm. Let's see. Uh, in lobbying an emitted grenade into the certain American political discourse, Reacher star Alan Richman has revealed that not only does he believe that Donald Trump's a, quote, a rapist and a con man, but also f- he finds that the Christian right support of the politic- uh, politician is downright unreal. How The thing is that Donald Trump is actually not as religious as you think he is, right? Like the fact that he is cool with gay marriage with actual Christians, like actual Christians and Catholics are like, it's, they hate that shit, right? Like he's cool with it. Like I would, say it, 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 it's unreal. Like it's unreal that this guy is thinking that. But let's see. Yeah, let's see I'm article. pretty sure a good number of Christians are watching this show. <laughs> so you're attacking your own audience, anyway. Yep. Let's continue. Uh, Richardson, who readers may also recognize, have portrayed Smallville's incarnation of Aquaman and Titans take on. Hank Hawk Hall offered his opinion of the former U.S. president during a recent interview in the, uh, with the Hollywood Reporter's Chris Gardner. And missed a lengthy conversation ranging from his time filming a live-action adaptation of Lee Child's Jack Reacher novels and his upcoming role in Guy Ritchie's The Ministry of Ungentle Manly Warfare. Richardson uh, was eventually asked by Gardner if he could elaborate on his own Christian faith to which he actor asserted, I am Christian quite simply because of what Jesus calls us to do. Love other people until death. It doesn't mean that we're all able to be hung on a cross, but how can I suffer for you? Explain the Reacher star. I think that is a beautiful thing. Further elaborating his religious belief, Richson, then opined that the Christians today have become the most vitriolic tribe. It's also antithetical to what Jesus was calling us to be and to do. To this end, the actor took aim at the ever-rising level of support for former U.S. president has consistently held and continues to hold among Christian lamenting, quote, Trump is a rapist and a con man, and yet the entire Christian church seems to treat him like he's their poster child, and it's unreal. I do not understand, he added. Slightly deviating from the topic of religious or political theory, Richson was then pressed as to his thoughts on the Catholic Church, particularly given that his mother still remains a member of the organization. Quote, it's worth saying that the atrocities that are happening in the church are still being actively covered up, even to this day, with the people not being able to uh, be held uh, accountable. It is re- uh, is repulsive, said the actor. His demeanor while answering reportedly, making it clear that he held no goodwill towards the church. I can't tell, I can't for one second support of the Catholic Church while there are still cardinals, bishops, and priests uh, being passed around with known pedophilic tendencies. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Gray, how do you feel about where he stands so far? Yeah, uh, like I said, you just... uh, Even if you feel all this, 
you're better off just shutting up, dude. It's like, I don't know. You, mm-hmm. you had it good with this TV show. Now you're staining it with because of saying stupid stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You, you know, these types of people, they like to generalize everyone as a whole. Oh, if you're a Trump supporter, you're blah, 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 blah. You're, you're an idiot. You're blah, whatever insult you want to throw. Or if you're a Christian, mm-hmm. oh, you, why are you like this, like that? It's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Are, this guy's also in his ivory tower too, not seeing the real world, not actually talking to people. Like it's it it the truth comes to light when he's being interviewed by actual people. Like he's actually starting to say stupid shit. But in I don't and yeah. it's yeah you're gonna get in trouble if you generalize. Oh, all Christians are stupid. All Christians are blah 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 blah. It's like no, dude. Not all people think this way. Not all people. Um, there are people who are actually intelligent, think more nuanced. There's a peop- there's a reason why people are drawn to Trump. There's a people, there's a reason why people are drawn to the Catholic religion itself. It's like people can have various different reasons and experiences throughout their lifetime to arrive at where they are. And here you yeah. are generalizing all of them. It's kind of like a Matt Matt Walsh situation, but this one's worse. <laughs> this one's significantly yeah. worse. So yeah, good luck. Yep. Good luck to your show. Good luck to Jack Reacher. Yep. Notably, this is not the first time Richen has thrown his hat in the ring of American politics. In November 2022, the actor announced that he would be deleting his personal Twitter account in protest of what he believes, uh, sorry, in believed in Elon Musk's active allowance of midterm election manipulation on the platform. Explaining his decision in the video posted in, in, on Instagram account, Richens asserted there was a king who loved the wine and generously wanted to lavish upon the good citizens of his kingdom. His love of wine also invited all the villagers far and wild, sorry, far and wide from the countryside to his castle for a feast. Okay. Also, the banquet hall was filled with, on feast day with friends and strangers alike. Richard continued, everybody eagerly awaiting to taste the king's prized wine. As the king asked the good citizens to have a seat on the banquet hall table, he began to pour wine, but he poisoned a few glasses along the way. Some of the citizen, uh, citizenry noticed this and asked the king why he was poisoning the cups. And he said, this is essential that everybody enjoying the wine as is whether it's poison or not. And not, of, of course, as you can imagine, his kingdom lost a few citizens that day. This is who Elon Musk is as a free speech absolutist. He then revealed the reason behind his telling of the story above, knowing that some people, some of the cups are going to be poisoned and insisting that we all partake in the feast together anyway will not bode well for all of us. Uh, there must be some tolerance, uh, sorry, intolerance for the poison cups among us, he asserted. We cannot be tolerant of everything. That's the tolerance paradox. It requires us to be t- intolerant of the tolerant. So, so according to him, uh, that's not, that's not what, that I, I think I think he's so misguided, right? I think he's so clouded by sucking so much uh, dick from the Democratic side that it sort of clouded his judgment of what actual Christians actually believe in, right? So uh, I I don't know, man. Like, how how do you feel about this before we continue? Yeah, I think you pretty much nailed it. It's like um, maybe it's a inner circle that he's talking to, whether it's family members or friends. That's why he arrived at that conclusion. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, overall for your career, this is not going to be, this is, this is a bad, really bad look for you. It's like, even mm-hmm. if you like retcon it, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I should have said that. It's like, people know that this is what you actually believe because you're just saying this to save your career. If, if ever he does uh retcon what he says but yeah you're right it's like it's the people he's exposed to or lack thereof talking to people the actual general yeah. people not not the wokies in hollywood like like if you surround yourself with wokies in hollywood yeah you're gonna arrive at a conclusion like the same not far off from this guy so yeah yeah um talk to other people to um yeah. talk to actual legitimate thinking hardworking people you know, it, it, this is that's all you need to do to have a change in perspective or to see the perspective of many other people, which is yeah, yeah. a lot of people in Hollywood kind of lack nowadays. Yep. All right, let's finish this off. As a free speech absolutist, Elon Musk believes that all speech, whether it's hate speech or misinformation, something that he is 
uh, has a penchant for should proliferate uh, his site. Uh, the actor continued, he relied on the Santa Monica Observer, a propaganda site with low credibility rating by the MBFC, the media bias of and fact check organization. They rate a low credibility of poor sourcing, fake news, a lack of uh, ownership, transparency, sorry, transparency, and often they are an, an imposter site. The owner of the SMMCLCC appears to be inactive. So there is really no way who is running or operating the site and a lack of transparency is a major issue for a newspaper and online newspaper trying to claim some kind of journalistic integrity. Now, here's the thing. That's the reason why the community notes are extremely important. Elon Musk has been community noted before for either sharing something that's incorrect or stating something that's incorrect. He has been uh, co uh, community noted before. And the things that he doesn't know that because he's no longer on Twitter. Right? He's not seeing the discourse. He's only on Instagram, basically scrolling through like giant dildos in his timeline. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Elon has crippled the midterms, the actor further argued. This is politically motivated. The tools that his employees are using is Con sorry, use content moderation and policy enforcement tools that would manage hate speech and misinformation. So crippling that is that and obviously relying on sources like the Santa Monica Observer takes sorry, makes Twitter a hotbed for misinformation. Uh, and like I said, he's not on Twitter because he deactivated it. He does not know what even community is. We've seen how cancerous and detrimental that can be to our society. Very dangerous. Drawing to a lengthy video to a close, a former Aquaman actor asserted. And then lastly, there are security issues involved with selling verification mark, the blue check mark to everybody. I've uh, already, I live in a world where many people are cons and frauds, sorry, are frauds. And they're using my identity to seek people's affection or their money or whatever it, uh, the scam is. There are at any one time, dozens of hundreds of people approaching fans as if they are me or my management team, and ultimately seeking something nefarious from that interaction. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, read the rest of it because it's basically talking about how, how much he loves sucking dick. So I think that with that, like he's just, he doesn't know the current state of it, right? But basically, once he once Elon Musk bought it, Elon Musk cited something that he does not agree with. And he's like, all right, I'm done, right? And he does not know what community notes is. So yeah, basically... Ultimate Trump uh, derangement syndrome. I think it's what he has, and the show is going to the show is going to fail. It's going to fall off. Um, I would say uh, another show that Amazon has that's that's going to flop. So yeah, I was thinking about watching Reacher. People are saying that it's really good. Now yeah, I'm not me too. Watch it anymore. Me too. It's like people are just giving praises to it. But yeah, <laughs> well, that's one less in the backlog. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.